Hi guys, welcome to another week here on The Den. So, what could be happening? We're outside, we're walking, we are doing stuff. It could only mean it's scavenger hunt time. I was gonna say Pokemon. That's been happening too. So, as per usual, this time uh, the guys all selected things to find. We, we are asking them to find an album from a local band. Bruno wants us to find a Portuguese flag. Mm -hmm. Aaron and Chris said find a Pizza Hut. Bonus points if you can find a Vibe, vibe Guys. Mm -hmm. uh, Greg Ballard wants us to find a local comic book shop. Eric suggested we find a rubber ducky. And Phil suggested we find a bear-themed Christmas card. So here we are going through downtown Halifax. Let's see what we can find. All right, so these guys are going to help us out with the next item on the list. Will, Greg, Derek, let's see Evan back there a little bit. This is my and Greg's suggestion. Find an album from a local band. Now, I have a huge collection. I have a huge library of Halifax music. I used to be quite involved in the scene. I'm just hitting the record collection on this one because I go CDs. I'm going to be talking all day about the amazing talents coming out of here. You guys may know of Sloan and Wintersleep, but you don't know of Glory Glory Man United. This is a pretty amazing post rock. An adorable boy-girl duo. The Super Fantastics pop-up book is just, it's, <laughs> there's just, I miss them so much. Failure Epics were a one-off post-rock kind of experience with members of Glory Glory Man United, John Epworth, and a whole bunch of other studio musicians from Halifax to Toronto. Ugh. That's all I gotta say about that performance. And this is probably my favorite, one of my favorite albums to ever come out of Halifax. Dog Days Night Group. Guys, if you haven't heard them out, heard them, you should definitely check it out. Um, can't really compare them to anything. They're really their own sound. Kind of synthy, kind of rocky, kind of shoegazy. But I really don't want to pinpoint them to anything. So, item on scavenger hunt list is bear Christmas carrot. So I have a Christmas carrot with a bear on it. Does that count? I think it does. So score one for the good guys. Alright, next item on our list is a rubber duck by Eric Riley. And here at one of the best candy shops in all of Halifax. Hand to the room, Derek. Show them the candy shop. Mm -hmm. Mm, candy. We have our rubber ducky, or the one who makes bath time so much fun. So many. <laughs> Should find a rubber side duck. Si -i -i. <laughs> There's our local pizzeria, the Snappy Tomato. Derek, snap out of it! Snappy Tomato out of it! Snap out of it! Next up is our local bar, Beerleys, which is not your local bear bar. Womp womp. <laughs> Structo burns. <laughs> Alright, so where are we on our way to go find now? We are on our way to the comic book shop, but we are looking for Bruno's flag at the same time. Yeah. So hopefully we get two birds with one stone. Once mighty Pokemon Grow Lands is now Baron Wasteland. So next on the list is Greg Ballard's item, the local comic book shop. Now Strange Adventures is more of an Atlantic Canadian franchise. I think it's across Canada. Um, yeah, I'm sure to pick something a bit more local, but we're in like kind of just where we are right now. So this is where we go to pick up your comics or any other curiosities or collectibles. I'm not really much of a comic book guy, but I'm an anime guy. Let's go in. I told you you'd get obsessed. <laughs> 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 so as we introduced we introduced you to Jay last week, uh, a friend of ours that owns a local comic book shop. Unfortunately it was kind of out of our way and we didn't have time to film our video, so we didn't have a chance to get there, but I wanted to mention that shop specifically because um, Jay is a big proponent in our community, a um, big proponent in the LT, LGTB community, um, and, and it promotes his area as a safe space for the, not only the community, but 
at risk youth. <laughs> so he does things like holds birthday parties, um, has after school clubs, has a number of video games for people to play. Um, Not to mention was given $30,000 by TD Bank to do something for the community and created that as a safe spot for LGBT, LGBT uh, POC and uh, minorities within our community. Yes. So I uh, wanted to give honorable mention to Jay for that specifically. Uh, we'll put some information about Cape and Cowell uh, below in the crotch below so you guys can check it out if you're coming to the Halifax area. So we didn't quite find the Portuguese flag, but... We got the best we could. I think we did pretty good. <laughs> All right, so thanks to the staff at Soccer Stop for helping us with that one. So Bruno, we've got that taken off the list. Yay! Now for our final item on our list, a Pizza Hut. And ta-da! There you go, Aaron. We found your Pizza Hut. So now for our lovely reward for getting all six items, Derek's by me. And bonus points, though. It's not a five guys, but it's attached to a KFC. So if you can't tell if you want big dicks or fried chicken, I mean pizza, the pizza had or fried chicken. <laughs> you've got options. <laughs> so scavenger hunting is done. So we've done a scavenger hunt. And now we've gone for pizza because we are the custodian. Always to the <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. As always, like, share, subscribe, and tune into the rest of the guys' scavenger hunts for the rest of the week. And I want to add Bruno, Portuguese flag, dick move. Just saying. Uh, Portuguese flag is new Tim Tams. Yes, Portuguese flag is the new Tim Tam. But yeah. we made it through. So everyone, have yourself a great week. Bye. Bye.